Hey you guys, this is T-Page, also known as Mommypreneur. I'm excited to come back with kind of like a part two of one of my previous videos. Um, I was talking about the 10,000 hour rule in order to become an expert in any area. Okay, so that research was done by Dr. Anders Erickson at Florida State University. And since then, another guy, um, Gladwell Maxwell has written a book called The Outliers, co-signing really on the 10,000 10, hour rule. Now, there are other people who dispute him or them on this issue. Tim Ferriss says, no, it depends on the quality of education, not the quantity of education that you receive in order to become an expert in a specific area which kind of makes sense to me that everybody's not going to take 10,000 hours in order to become an expert. Some people, it might take, you know, 10,000 hours, and some people it might take less than 10,000 hours. But um, Tim Ferriss is saying that it will take six months to one year in order to become an expert with quality education. So I look at it kind of like this. Let's say, for instance, you go down to the i'm not gonna say the local i'll say the state golf academy okay and brian is down there and brian teaches you really well because he's been doing it for like five or ten years he's gonna teach you how to become a professional golfer okay which is great because brian is really good at what he does but he's never actually played in a golf tournament okay and this is just my example okay and this is an exaggeration. So on the other hand, you might have Tiger Woods who has an academy, who comes out and is actually an instructor and who is teaching you his years of expertise. He's teaching you these tricks and he's teaching you these different ways that you can stand and hold and all of this that he's learned since he was a kid on up to now. He's won many um, championships. He's, you know, had so many endorsements, so on and so forth. Okay. <clears throat> so what Tim Ferriss is saying, that quality over quantity is really the key to becoming an expert in any area. Now, on this channel also, we talk about the subconscious mind, the power of the subconscious mind, and the conscious mind. So, we already know that the conscious mind, if you read a book, you can learn something for a while, but it's not going to stick unless you, you know, incorporate that subconscious and you begin to, whatever you've read, you begin to expound on that. So, it's repetition, repetition, repetition. Whether you're, you're writing information about that subject matter, whether you're using your hands to manipulate materials, or you're using your mind to manipulate ideas, or um, it, some kind of other way you have to get involved in your learning in order for it to, you know, just become a part of you. So you need time and you need quality information, okay? My purpose for creating this video is to just let everybody know that whatever you're doing right now, if you're not happy, if you feel stuck, if you feel like, you know, you want to go in a different direction, it's your life and you have the power to enhance your life and you have the power to be happy. You know, if it's only going to take six months to a year or even five years in order for you to learn a specific niche or learn a specific career so that you can change your entire life what's that song la 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 life goes on life is gonna go on time is not standing still you have time to create the life that you want for yourself you have the time to create the life you want for yourself it's up to you because you'll be happier. You'll probably be healthier if you go on and um, do whatever it is that you really, really want to do with your life. 
Okay, let me just say this too, which really excited me. Um, uh, probably about my uh, had been a year ago, maybe six months ago. I was watching this television show, Wendy Williams or Rachel Ray or Sister Circle, something like that. Anyway, Chef came on. We all know the Chef segment. They're gonna cook something, and you know sometimes it don't taste so great. And you know definitely Wendy Williams will tell you like this is dry, this needs salt. Blah, blah, blah. But anyway. I just remember the people on the panel saying how good the food really was. Like, they were like, really, this is, this is really good, you know. So, someone asked, what culinary school did you go to? This young lady said, you know, my mom didn't teach me how to cook. No one really taught me how to cook growing up. I always wanted to learn how to cook and cook well where people would really enjoy my food. She said she went on YouTube. She said she found two or three people who were really good at what they were cooking. She mimicked them, tasted the food herself, fed it to her family, fed it to her friends. Everyone really enjoyed it. After three years, two to three years, she became an expert because people were asking her, well, can you make this? Can you bring that? Can you do some catering for me? Who becomes a caterer off of watching videos? Well, this young lady did. And see, part of this is taking the initiative to learn, even self-learn on your own. We do not always have to go to college in order to learn everything that, that we need to learn. You can learn skills that can make you a ton of money that will make you happy in life because you know maybe now you can start your own business this lady has her own business and was on national television because she took the time the energy and it made her happy it was something that she always wanted to do she learned a skill on youtube that just took her to that next level of excellence okay so that's that's awesome. That's a big, huge thing that you have the power. I have the power with consistency and quality education and time to recreate the life that we really want for ourselves. So one last thing that I have to say about being able to become an expert in an area is if you become an expert and let's just say for instance you go out and get a job and you go on that job and you just you doing it you know i mean they're like oh wow she's really good he's really good at this when people start to take notice that you really know what you're doing you get promotions and you get raises okay now the other side of that if you have more of an entrepreneurial mind and you say hey, I want to create some classes so I can be a blessing. I can teach other people how to do what it is that I do, at least partially, you know. Um, you can do it in segments or sections and create a whole business out of teaching people how to do whatever it is that, you know. And there's, there's so many different... Um, sites where you can create like webinars people pay you twenty dollars some people have courses out there that cost two hundred dollars a thousand dollars two thousand dollars um because they're experts and they can help train someone to go to the next level in their career so we have platforms like teachable you have platforms like kajabi you have platforms like I think it's called Skillshare or skills.com or something like that. I'll link link it below. But anyway, become an expert and actually teach other people how to do whatever it is that you already know how to do or that you've learned to do. Or create a YouTube channel, you know, and you know, you could sell items on that channel or you can uh monetize your channel while people are learning from you another thing is which might sound a little far-fetched but i think anything is possible if you believe in yourself you can do it so i say put it in book form create a book 
publish that book or create the information, type it up, publish it, sell your information in book form. So we have webinars, we have selling it in book form. And then um, another way that people are um, helping others through their expertise is to do like one-on-one -on -one coaching. A lot of people are making a lot of money out here, you guys, on all of these different things. So I just want you to know that we have choices. We don't have to be stuck. And that whether it takes six months or 10 years, or in my case, I think five years, whatever it takes in order for you to change your life to make it better for you and your family, it's worth it. Six months, a year, two years, I mean, my Lord. So, okay, one more thing I wanted to say, um, I was just going to say, give you some examples of things that will probably take six months to five years. Jo careers that could probably take six months to five years. You can become a teacher in less than five years. You can become an occupational therapist if you're on an accelerated program in five years. Okay, the median salary for teachers, I'm in Georgia, so it's about $40,000 a year. Median salary for occupational therapists, a five-year accelerated program would be about $80,000 $80, per year. Or you can become an occupational therapist or physical therapist assistant, and I think that's like two and a half years might be three years, but I think it's like two, two and a half years. Um, you could come out of school making $40,000, $45,000 a year. Learn how to paint. Become a painter. Painters make excellent money. Um, build something. Uh, let me see. what. It, fitness instructors. Health and fitness industry is booming. I need to be taught by somebody now. How I can lose like this belly fat. But um, personal trainers, they make a lot of money. Uh, and that's something that you can learn, I'm sure, in six months to a year. Because you need to teach people how to eat and then teach people the correct way to exercise. I mean, so you have it all in the palm of your hand. With the help of the universe or God or, you know, whatever you want to call it. And your drive and your willingness to learn and the time that it's going to take you to learn it, you can change your life. You can become an expert. You can become an expert at anything. Okay? So, once again, this is T-Page, also known as Mompreneur. Looking out for y'all. Smooches. I'll see you on the next video.